This is how I live. I live. This is what I love. Oh. This is all the things that my dreams have been made of. Welcome to my life. This is what I love. This is what the soundtrack to my life is made of. Music love life. Crystal Jordan, be honest and myself, Mr. Kevin. We are music, love, life. Welcome. Now I want a nickname. Because yours is Mr. Kevin, is be honest, and Crystal Jordan sounds so boring compared to, I'm going to work on, maybe CJ. Maybe next week it's CJ. New new. <laughs> Until it's no longer new new. I'm coming back as CJ. Yeah. CJ? Yeah. Mm. No. No, don't really roll off the tongue correctly. Find your space. I'm yeah, gonna find, I'm gonna, and I'm just gonna tell you what it is. Yeah, and then you yes, will address you me as such. Yes, yes. I'm coming back right. next week as CJ. I, I hear Black Excellent is still open. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He forced his Mr. Kevin shit on us. I'm saying, and we're doing it. So I'm just saying, I, I, I just sounds, I sound really Consistency. lame. Consistency. Consistency. I got to start long next way. week. I got to start next week. I mean, he's selling it everywhere too. It's not just a show. You're like, right. He's on all the social platforms. Everywhere. <laughs> like, yeah, he's selling it everywhere. So I'm going to start selling mine. <laughs> okay. That I'm sounded a, I'm weird. Gonna rewind that. No, no. That I'm, sounded I'm weird. That. I'm going to edit that part only into a soundbite. <laughs> I'm going to start selling mine. No, I need a, I need that GIF. <laughs> right. Oh my god. Some people say GIF, I but you know. Yeah, I, I know. It's just you just choose he just, different he, pronunciations. He just wants of everything. to be different. I'm going to use that GIF. I've heard both. Heard it say both ways. I've not heard it said GIF, yeah. but okay, we'll roll with it. <laughs> we'll roll with it. Some of you ain't saying shit like the Facebook or you know what I mean. <laughs> Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> the Twitter. The YouTube. Are you on the Twitter? I did say the other night the YouTube. Uh, Speaking of YouTube, I need I need people to subscribe to my interview channel. Oh, you have an interview channel? I have an interview channel with Shut all up. my with all my other interviews. Plug it. What is yes, it? it's Enchanted PR Online, and I need I really need subscribers. Enchanted PR Online. Enchanted PR Online, like really bad. So right now, pause this. No, right click on YouTube because I don't want you to leave this video. Right click on YouTube. Yeah, make sure you're subscribed already to Music Love Life and right. then go over, why don't you, and spread some of the love. We'll even put a link in the description for you just in case Thanks, you... Thanks, guys. Just in case you're just obstinate. <laughs> I can't. Because people like convenience, do. though. People love convenience. They want to yeah. click on a link. They don't want to have to go find it themselves. No. We'll provide you with the link. Maybe we can put one of those little, those little things at the top where it, if you click there, I don't know how to do that, but... That's, okay. that's for yeah. the Technology youngest. makes things so convenient. Like I hate it when uh like artists try to they're they're in my my inbox and they're like, Yeah, go download this or go and I'm like, No, send me the link. Give me you a link. You already sir. messaged me. Yeah. Yeah. Include you the want link. me to do the work? I don't I, I'm not going searching. I'm not doing I met the work. I met an artist at um A three C uh last week. And um, she wanted to let me hear our music. So she asked me where I listen to music. Right. And I was like, I don't know, everywhere, I guess. So she's like, well, what about Spotify? I'm like, yeah, sure. So she had a little card, and I had to open, like, turn on my camera. Oh. And it scanned, like, the little code for Spotify. Oh. Well, it was actually in Spotify. There's a button you can hit. And it downloaded all her music. Not downloaded, but sent me the link and favorited it and subscribed to her or whatever. Okay. So that's pretty cool. But I need to so. do that. I need to go around there. Hey, give me your phone. <laughs> take a picture of this Well she didn't have to take the phone She just said go open Spotify And okay. click on this Or tap on this okay. And I did And then she put the, the card This is a business card Underneath yeah Underneath my camera Synced up yeah. It turned my light on And everyone's like What the fuck oh, See so I ain't mad at though man No she's cool She's getting one by one and she's, she only has to have on one campaign. card she don't have to buy a thousand cards that she, the people are gonna yeah. throw on the floor It's just one card She I've keeps her that. card yeah I've yeah. seen that I need to get that Yeah Anyway Yeah guys uh, I'm gonna come back with a, a moniker New new. A whole, a whole moniker. You gonna get your chain back? <laughs> I mean, but w why not be the unique one? Like, have some. I just, you know. See, I'm mad that he came up with a nickname because now I'm, it's like when I got tattoos back in the day. Now everybody got. Now, you know what I'm saying? I got six tattoos way back in the day. Did you know today I had a meeting with a client and they told me that black ink, basically, I've discovered today that everything, anything that happens that affects people, Always happens to black women first. What are you talking we about? Are the, we are the eternal victims of health related illnesses, sexually transmitted diseases. Everything happens to black women. But, but what they said is that black ink that you get tattoos with, that most black people have tattoos of black ink because it doesn't show, other colors don't necessarily show up on black skin as well as black. 
And it's, it, it basically is one of the leading causes of people ca- contracting HPV. Did you know that? I, I did not and know that. the needles being dirty, it's very bad. So, and and of the group that's most highly affected, of course, is African Americans, and leading the African American charge are Black women. Well, here's the thing, right? So that's that's a very very skewed stat. But let me finish what I was saying. I got tattoos back when it wasn't really cool. It was just right. Hell's Angels and military <laughs> personnel. And then all of a sudden, my six tattoos look lame now because people have sleeves, sleeves and necks, body, and whole everything. Bodies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like that that's how Fingers. I kind of feel. I kind of feel like that with this this nickname thing because now Mr. Kevin comes up and now you want one too. Scoot over. I, I'm almost going to just start calling myself something. I'm going to just I get off the show. I'm going to just I'm going to blur myself out on the show just so I'll be different. <laughs> so the whole show I'm blurred. But Scoot over. The tattoo thing. So here's here's the problem, right? I think that black people don't know what the fuck they're doing. I'm certain. <laughs> and it's black people's fault because white okay. people All right. go to a, a a fucking licensed tattoo artist with uh, a well, that's a broad statement. No, my that's no, a very my broad nigga, no, 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 no. Mm. Do you know how many times I've heard of a tattoo party where a nigga comes no, in and does well, yeah, tattoos no, I, at I the party? I have that's, heard that's of that. Newer shit. No, no, that's no, newer no, no, shit. No, 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 no. I've heard no, of that. My girlfriend this invited is me to one. Ten years. Yeah. Within ten years, black people go to shit like tattoo parties. <laughs> and you're like, okay, so where? How am I going to get in line? Is it? <laughs> And who's who's checking on this nigga and his needles? Yeah. <laughs> I had a, I had when I was when I was teaching, I had a student that went to a tattoo party, <laughs> and she was very she got a scare. She thought she had Hep C right. from the tattoo party. That's what I meant, hepatitis. Hepatitis, not, yeah, yeah. Hep not C. HPG. She was very the doc. The doctor's like this happens so fucking much because you kids don't give a damn where you get a tattoo from. Oh wow! What I'm trying to explain to you is white people go to licensed. Tattoo Again, parlors. that's a broad general statement. Okay. I think I'm pretty sure there are some tattoo parties a lot with of pe- white people. But you know what? Because because tattoos have become so fashionable amongst young people, mm-hmm. a lot of them don't know what they're doing or who they're doing it with. Right. How many white women do you know that uh, um have a chunk of their ass eaten out because they went to a, a hotel to get silicone put in it. Okay, now that's that's not fair. That's not fair. How many? That is not fair. How many? That is fair, a total different fair thing. Fair or not? Tattooing and butt implants no, are two different it's things. It's education. It's, it's, it's two different allowing things. yourself. Is that not under? <laughs> it's not body mod. Two different it things. It is. It's 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 what it is. Is tattoos not edu- and piercings? Yes, yes. It's all the same. It's not what? educating yourself. Tattoos, piercings, and butt pl- and and uh, butt plugs. <laughs> <laughs> not butt plugs, but like what? butt injections. That's, that's not your, all the that's same. That's your nickname, butt plug. It's no? not all the same. BP? Tattoos, it is the same. No. It's, it's body. You're changing something on your body. What I'm that's saying is plastic surgery. But what I'm saying though is that what young black people are willing to do, because it's still kind of, I don't even. It's not taboo. That's not the word I'm looking for. But I just feel like it's a little bit more above board. So white people go do the the licensed way. And yes, there are some jailhouse tattoos that white people got, but the majority of them, you'll go. T- have you ever been in a tattoo parlor and know, and like everybody in there knows everything about fucking tattoos? I'm talking about from the top to the bottom, left to the right. They, you know, what I'm saying like they go travel, and they do the shows. That that's the kind of thing that happens in a white tattoo parlor. Parlor. You go to a black <laughs> tattoo parlor right here on Camelton Road. <laughs> Don't do that. I'm not Don't kidding you put though. Don't them out there that way. Why? Don't you do Why? that to them. Why? I didn't even you know there gotta was be a tattoo. 18. You ain't got to be 18. You don't need to, you you don't need to sign anything with a license no, and what show you, your what age. You want, dog? Hey, what you want, man? <laughs> nah, fuck that. I ain't doing that. It's too cheap. Give me some more expensive. Like that's. How do you know? Have you been there? I've been in a tattoo okay. parlor like that. I, I would have. never. I would never get a tattoo. Matter of fact, it, the only tattoo parlors I've ever been to, I've only been to two. Well, three, but I don't know the one in San Diego. I did research on it first though. That was Thomas Tattoo on Cheshire Bridge. Um, and the other one, I can't remember it closed. It was in, it was on Glenwood right there near where the A3C used to be. That little area right there, you know what I'm saying? East Atlanta. There's a tattoo parlor upstairs. There's one with a guy that was on 10th, 10th Street or 14th Street that was really popular and he's done a lot. And then, but my tattoo, I did do research. Mm -hmm. I, I went to a tattoo artist that was very famous for, his name was Redbeard. Okay. And... And it costs money, didn't it? Cost it costs money. And, and see, there that's was a what whole, black I had to make an appointment do. like months exactly. in advance. Exactly. That's yeah. what black people, they don't want to pay but then $400 I went to for black a tattoo. Ink at Atlanta. And but that's think, a show though, right? Well, it's also a tattoo parlor. And I had my tattoo from before re-outlined so it would be more how was vibrant. It? How was the experience? It was pretty good. I mean, the guy was cute. A cl- you see what I'm saying? <laughs> and we wonder stuff. why black women are the victims of <laughs> every <laughs> epidemic, that pandemic. Is so wrong. Bird That's flu. So no, it looks good. <laughs> it looks <laughs> good. And, and I did know everything was clean. I can't think of the guy's name, but do yeah. you do you watch to see if they pull it out of the sterile 
Of course. No, see, no, of course. Everybody of course. doesn't. Though. Of course. That's I what do. I'm saying. I'm going to pay more right. to go to a tattoo parlor where want, they're going to give yeah. me a brand new yeah, needle every single time. Yeah. They're not going to use ink they've been using all week. I mean, they have like the little capsules or whatever, right? Right. right. I'm going to go to a tattoo oh. parlor where you pay more. Because I want that type of service. I want the clean, like the, the sanitary. Uh, yeah, I want that. I, you shouldn't I, have yeah. to pay more to get to be well, clean. Well, no, no, you don't pay more. You just pay less to get less clean. You see what I'm saying? Right, right, that's right. The that's cost the normal cost. Right. That it should be. It should include all that. Like, like I'm you tattooing can cut you for corners. $10 so you can't complain about no diseases. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you supposed to get a little hep. What type? Of- <laughs> you can cut corners. The other, but it wasn't just hep. <laughs> it wasn't just hepatitis. It was like lupus. Wow. I keep I keep hearing of of. Uh, black women that are that are being diagnosed with lupus and also HIV. That anyway, that was a whole nother side. But I'm just saying, we we have it rough out here. Y'all should give us tender love and care. We do because we really yeah. have it rough. Yeah, there, there. Not us though. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Not us. We don't have it rough. I'm, I'm patting your shoulder. Thank you. I appreciate that. That was. Thank comforting. you for the empathy. My compassion. Sometimes I feel like you guys just don't get it. Meanwhile, my daughter won't stop getting tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> she got money. <laughs> my daughter has one, and she did not tell me she was going to get it. She just came. Your daughter, home your with daughter. One. Okay, your daughter and my son are the same age, and you're. Yeah. So your daughter's older than my daughter. Yeah. My daughter has thirteen already. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. And she just started a year ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, my daughter has one, and she but started she like none on her face. None. No. Her face. But that's god. more than one a month. Though. Why? That is that that her her. <laughs> Her, her average is definitely more than one a month. Where are they coming up with bodies, places? Because, like, I have four. And I think I've ran out of places to get one, like, where it could be. Really? Yeah. Like, you, I, I don't. You, you don't have one behind your ear. I don't. I <laughs> or, don't. Or right between the webbing of your thumb and forefinger. <laughs> the webbing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have one in the webbing. Do you know anyone who has no tattoos? I do. My oldest son has no tattoos. Really? Really? Yeah. And I, I would have thought it would have been the opposite. Exactly. No tattoos. My my, my son also I, has no tattoos. And he him. says he will never get any. I envy him for that because I wish that I didn't have them now because everybody has them and I feel... Uh, yeah, they are kind of... Now I feel like whack. the day Mr. Kevin came about and it changed <laughs> the nickname game on this well, show. I, I felt so... I got my first one at 25. I got two on the same trip. I went for my birthday and I got two tattoos and I went to Redbeard, this really... Famous white pirate looking tattoo artist. And I felt like I wanted to do something that would express my personality. And I felt like it was something I really wanted to do. Did you get a stripper? You got paw prints. <laughs> a butterfly. <laughs> <Rose>. <laughs> did you get a butterfly? I did unicorn. get a butterfly. Unicorn. <laughs> a butterfly. A but unicorn. I also got a butterfly a, is every woman's first tattoo. It is, but I also so got a Hindu symbol for femininity. Uh, what? Why? Oh, yeah. Are you are you You're such an individual? Well, because I wanted to express I'd always been super girly and super prissy, and I thought this was my way. Because people make fun of you. It, you, it, you may be surprised, but oh. people do make fun of you for being super prissy. And I no. got tired of it. <laughs> Oh my God. Maybe shocked. Women to know have that. it so what? bad. And you even yes. more so because of that. Why didn't you just get the Christian sign for femininity? Well, I don't I don't think there is one. Pink. Just but, something like pink or well, something. I wear pink all the time, but you know. What is the what is the Christian's is there a symbol for anything other than the, the cross? The Jesus just fish. the cross. Did you get the, the fish. cross with There's some a roses? Jesus fish. There's a fish. No, I don't. But I you think I'm thinking fish. of getting because my butterfly has you like got only God can judge me on your back. <laughs> <laughs> my butterfly was really cool, but I kind of want to switch it into like roses with thorns. <laughs> wow, that's wow. what I want to do. Okay, Blackbeard can do that. I mean, Bluebeard, Redbeard. I was thinking my black. Ink. He may be dead now. Why? I don't know. That was when I was 25, and he was, you know, he was older then. Didn't you interview Caesar from Black Ink? I did. I, I didn't you want didn't, him. You didn't. There no. was no temptation. Not at no all. No tattoo temptation. Not at all. Why? I don't I know just, who this person is. No, actually, I and I just went to Chicago and interviewed two more tattoo artists for Chicago Black Ink. I did not want to get a tattoo there either. Uh, yeah. I was not tempted. You sticking to the the white joints? <laughs> not no, because I said Bonehead. Bonehead was the guy's name. He gave me. He outlined my other tattoo. Uh-huh. He's a black guy, but he looks like a tattoo artist, and he and he carried himself as such. Uh-huh. All I care about is, can I see the sterile? The sterile. He, it was tool. sterile. There, it was. It was. It was. I want to see reviews online that right. nobody hates you because you're an asshole, and I want to see your sterile tools, and I want to actually see them. Don't set yeah. them up before I get in the room. Let me sit down and let me see you unpack and unseal yeah. the. 
stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's that's how I need to see it. If not, save that for it. later. Do another, get me a new set of tools. <laughs> and uh, I want to see that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I feel you. It's kind of bitchy, though, if you I, think about it. Hey, do little, you want Hep C? Little, uh, is it bitchy to get Hep C? <laughs> no, it's not bitchy to get Hep C. But yeah. You know kinda, how much tattoos It's kind of bitchy to be in a tattoo. You know, where did you get that? No, I said, hey, bro, you got to go open so, some new have ones. Have you used it? Um, All right, I just... I, uh, nah, I'll, man, you just got to finish tattooing back. a biker. I couldn't figure out what I... I'll, I'll be back. I'll, I'll come back and then just don't come back. I'm like, yo, man, get some new tools. I, what, it don't got to no, be bitchy. I don't have bitchy. time to educate. I don't have time to educate. Nah, I would man, just say no. Take a shot. <laughs> Take a shot Sit in the chair And quit bitching up You, have you don't have any tattoos Do you? I, yeah I've got three Do okay. you really? I didn't know that Look at you yeah, never Look knew. at Mr. Kevin Mr. Kevin My wife secrets. is the only person I know that doesn't have any Okay I know I know, I know a few But I think You know Kim Kardashian doesn't have any She said you wouldn't put A, a, a uh, bumper sticker on Kim a Kim Kardashian's got a movie She has a movie? What, what does that mean? Oh, sex obsession. Oh, you're saying that that's worse than tattoos? Then it equals out? I think so. Think it balances I, I think out? a porn is worse than a tattoo. <laughs> I don't know because you can you can go to, you can probably walk into heaven after having sucked a dick, but tattoos, that's defaming God's temple. Hey, are t- are, wait a minute. Are you not supposed to be able to get to heaven because you have a tattoo? If, if St. What, Gabriel stopped me at the gate for this cross, the, are you serious? It's the temple. It's the temple. Your body's a temple. And you're that doesn't have anything. I don't believe that. Defacing it. I don't, I don't but I got my grandmama's that. name right here, man. You really? how, how do you know no, your grandma? How do you know your grandma was there? I mean, you know, I don't know your grandma, and I know that you know. I told the, you, my grandma speak tongues. What that mean? There we go. The don't devil speaks every language. Don't you do Boom. that? <laughs> don't do that. The devil speaks every <laughs> language, bro. I'm telling you, he's fluently. Nah, man. All that hundred lashana. It don't sound like no Christian oh, shit to me. Oh my god. Hey, don't sound, hey, don't sound hey, holy bring to me. this back. It don't sound like Jerusalem. Bring it back. <laughs> Hebrew <laughs> It's not like a snake or something. Uh, Bring it like back uh, No uh, Don't do that Don't put your grandmother in there. Don't defame And see somebody last week legacy. Said that we weren't even offensive it, it, I it know was like, Especially I you I saw that That was a friend of ours A friend yeah. to the show Said we were not offensive at all Yeah I was yeah. really worried After last week's show We were just talking The, 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 the truth I mean you know I, was I, so I think that it had the ability To be offensive Unless you really listened Right To it in its entirety But people take sound bites Right Nowadays And then they run with it But Let's see if we can't do something about it this week. What, you want to offend someone this <laughs> no, week? <laughs> never. I never want to do that. Never want to do that. Yeah, roll the dice. You never know. No, but you know what? I, I saw, guys, I saw Dolomite. And I thought about you because I feel like Mr. Kevin should know all of these Dolomite quips that were that I think a lot of people know. I don't know any of them. Is that your way of telling me that I remind you of a movie pimp? <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Seems like you definitely could have the vocabulary that hey, would go along with a movie hey, pimp. My granddaddy would be proud. Yeah. He says hi, by the way. Did you? <laughs> Ooh. No, he doesn't. Did you? Did he have, hey, you se- have you seen Don? Have you seen Dolomite? Uh, the older I, film. I saw the original Dolomite. I right. haven't seen the Eddie Murphy uh, Dolomite is my name. You guys got to see it. It's so good. I First of all, it. Eddie Murphy is hands down amazing. Like Back. he. He well, he. I don't think he ever left. I think he was just you know doing what extremely kids, kids wealthy movies, guys do. Getting that Disney check. Yeah, and, getting it. You know. So is he a better Dolomite than Dolomite? I think so. Have you ever, have you ever heard Dolomite speak? Yes. Yeah. He, well, they they show him at the end of the film. Right, but he's old as fuck. And, there, though, right? No, but they show the oh, they, they show, show the young? original. Gotcha. Yeah, and but I mean, first of all, brilliant. The movie is brilliant. You guys definitely got to see it. Netflix. Has definitely upped their game. Oh, it's a heard Netflix this, movie, so I can go watch it's it tonight. A Netflix, no, yeah. it's not out yet. It's out next week. But but. Check this out. Oh, look at this. She's dropping. In- she look, look how she's doing us. Okay. No, okay, no. Crystal. Mm-hmm. Me and Kevin are going to excuse ourselves from the conversation. Tell us about your exclusive yeah. viewing. It's not exclusive how, viewing. How much it's does not it exclusive cost viewing. for a blue check on my Stop Twitter? It. Stop it. Give Stop me a blue it. check. Please. Everybody can go. Anybody, it's in select theaters. Sure. I went to a select theater. Mm. I actually saw it at Landmark. I didn't get a text. Oh, wait a minute. I saw it at so Landmark. So Netflix is now doing movie releases. Yes. They put, wow. Isn't that dope? In select I got, theaters. I got, you know, I got Netflix stock. <sighs> I well, believe in now I believe he's in talking Netflix. about exclusivity. I believe now he's just I, I, I'm, trying, I'm just trying to get back, <laughs> rise to the top again, because obviously you're an exclusive party. I'm definitely not. No, I went to Landmark, which is not necessarily an exclusive theater. Did there you was get some no, champagne? I did not, but I, you know what? I went on it. I went on it. I don't know if it was a date or what it was, but I got to ask you guys a question before I get back to Dolomite. Oh. Okay. So I go with a guy, and, and we go to the counter, right? He orders popcorn. 
I I too wanted traditional to movie partake snack. of popcorn and raisinets. That's my that's my thing. Okay. So I said twenty five dollars. Can I have? I said I'll take popcorn and raisinets and a cherry coke. That's my that's my thing. Sounds fairly standard. And then he said, "You're acting like I'm a trick." And I said, "What do you mean?" He said, "Just ordering what you want." And I said, "Oh well, I'll pay for it." Like you know, I, I don't have a yeah. problem taking out my own. And he was like, no, I'm just saying. And I was like, what? What? Like, that was one of those, do you, do you understand what, I, am I supposed to go to them and be like, hey. excuse me, sir, am I allowed to have a bag of popcorn and some raisins? I raisinets? know, what he was doing was making sure that some <laughs> yeah. dick came with them raisins. <laughs> right. You know that's the fucking side of the menu. Yeah. Like, I, you know. say, I Really? Large popcorn, popcorn and raisinets? Oh, at, you plan on popping. Pop, at the movie theater, popcorn and raisinets and a cherry Coke is a is an entree. That's $38. Like, he said Are I was serious? treating him like a trick. Two things happened here. One, I, I, I'm i leaning towards what Kevin said. It's probably he was just trying to set guidelines for <laughs> how the rest of this evening was going to go. He wanted you to know that this was actually, he was doing something. Hey, oh. Now, hey, don't, don't, don't be, because women will undervalue yeah. your shit real right, quick. Right. As if that's $17. Don't nobody want your little funky raisin nets. Well, what, what, tell me what I should have done. Nets. What I should have done that would have totally alleviated. Should I just whipped out my car? Because then I know I, I've done that before and I've, and I've been told that I'm being well, a bitch. Well, here's the thing, right? Okay. Popcorn. And raisinets yeah. seems a bit much. Really? Oh that seems that seems a and bit a much. And a cherry coke. Well, we know you're not going to eat all the popcorn. Right. I didn't, but he wanted you a lot of all butter. The popcorn. Who he you wanted a lot of popcorn? butter, and I didn't want. I don't eat butter on my popcorn. Oh, see, so you, yeah, you're doing too much. So maybe you pass on the butter. I don't eat butter on my pop. Who first of all, who doesn't eat put butter on corn? It makes it wet, and I don't like it to be wet. You like dry corn. But popcorn. But, First of all, it's already why do you enough, keep saying but? It's already enough buttery <laughs> seasoning that's already on the popcorn when it's when it's popped. You don't need extra wet butter, butter on the popcorn. Butter. I don't like it. In case you're well, keeping score, Crystal's giving us about three sound bites. <laughs> no, <laughs> three little good ones, and there's a nice little two three second pause after that. Right. <laughs> but my point is, I would thought I was being benevolent towards him benevolent. by allowing by getting my own popcorn and not trying to force myself on him. But he said I was treating him like a trick. Here's here's what you do next time. Okay, let me here's know. Here's what you do next time. Okay. Okay. You figure out a way to get the least possible thing. Okay. Whatever that the is. The cheapest thing. Whatever, yes. Okay. Let the transaction happen. Okay. As you're about to walk away, say, oh, I'll, go ahead. I'll be right there. And you step back and then you buy whatever you want. Gotcha. That way, it's like you thought of it later. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's and good. he's already paid and put his wallet up, so he's not. He, he yeah. won't even consider putting Jesus his wallet out Christ. again. Yeah. He if he and now if he decides to bring his wallet back and say, hey, wait, wait, I'll, I'll take care of that too. Okay. Cool. But otherwise, you see what I'm saying? That's that good. way you've separated him from the shit. Yeah. You got he got your and little funky ass raisinets, and, and now I you can, can get, get what you want. That I want exactly. Right. And it's I, no, actually, I think the opposite. You should have ate your shit and his. <laughs> she don't like wet butter. <laughs> she likes dry butter. <laughs> nah, he I'm need to know what's going on. If he is that is is that is that. Am I was I was I out of line by asking I don't think for so. popcorn and raisinets? And I think that's coat. too much, though. But I mean, you but know, that's what I wanted. Since I did. When, since when do you know women not to do too much? <laughs> that's the, me. And, my wife and I go to the movies and order nothing. Now, usually, usually, what I do is I stop and sneak go to in, the like a real dollar. Nigga, go to a gas I do. Station, I go to the dollar, dollar store tree. and I have a purse. You see my? You see how big my purse is? Yeah, I put gotta, the candies. In my purse, pocketbook. Yeah, and I, and I also put a soda, and then I buy the popcorn. So I'm a good date because I will get. I'll ask you what snacks you would prefer, and then I put them in my purse with the drinks, and I whip them out after the lights have gone down and the trailers are done, so that we don't offend, you know, the movie personnel. But you know what? It, it also I think that him making that statement uh, says a lot about uh, the dates that he may be used to because. Maybe he just has a history of dollar millionaires. Well, I'm. That's. I just. I. I just. Th- likes, that was the last day. Is he someone that's doing well, or is he just? He's you know? doing well. He's just maybe very cheap. Yeah. I just don't like the idea that he said I was treating him like a trick because I ordered. So I was like, Am I supposed to ask? But I assume if we go to the movies, I could get popcorn. Mm, that's a bad assumption too. Okay. Well, I just consider me checked. Consider me checked. I will do, the next I don't time. Know. This, this requires it. It could go any, either way. Don't I, assume that I'm buying you something. I think that's what he. I think that's the energy that he had. 
But I rode with him, so if I ride with you, no, there are no, no, no. Stop trying to do that. Stop, stop <laughs> trying to add in reasons why he's supposed to pay for everything. The rest women of always so, do that. At what point in the night does he stop paying for you? I just <laughs> want to go on a different date. That's I just want right. to go on a date with a different person because right. I I've did been you, on dates with ask. other guys that didn't would never say that. Did you put a dick you, in the popcorn? I'm telling you right now. Uh, did Did you smash though? I did not. Well, yeah. So. There's a really honestly fingers to you anyway. He feels used. <laughs> you you order raisinets and some motherfucking popcorn and a cherry coke. That really was about eighteen dollars, at least. It was at Landmark though, and Landmark's cheap. Nah, you, there's no cheap movie theater. You could have at least brushed up against it. Something. I probably did that. Lap dance. I didn't do you that. Mean probably. You could. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. You're supposed to be coy. Anyway, the movie you guys should go see it. It's at it's at oh, Landmark. Oh yeah, the movie. <laughs> it's a gr- it's a great it's a great movie. It's I'll an wait. inspirational movie. I'll no, I, that's the thing. I want people to go see it in the theater. I, I'll wait and I'll just see it on Netflix. I'll, I I'll don't have want you to see it on Netflix because it's a different type of experience. Are you getting paid by them to say no, this? No, I'm not. I'm not. But you I'm have just, to admit it if you do. I for think you too, no, I'm not. I'm you not. Have to. But the I think will that find you. I think that. When you see something in a theater, you give it a different type of respect than when you see it at home. When I'm watching Netflix at home, I push pause. You know, I, I if the phone rings, I pause it. If somebody comes in, I pause it. The doorbell rings, I pause it. So I'm basically, you're disrespectful whether you're at the movies or at home. <laughs> <laughs> just, the levels of disrespect don't stop. You got to do what you got to do. I guess do. I treat everything like a trick. I saw Gemini Man in the movies. How was that? Yeah. It was good. I mean, you know, the CGI was good. I mean, the story was kind of stupid. It was an action movie, though. Action movies are usually stupid as far as plot goes. Yeah. They have the one-liners, you know. But um, I saw that. I saw Joker in the movies. Joker was good. Mm-hmm. Well, you can't see it any other place. I saw Once Upon a Time in Hollywood in the movies. You, I mean, though, though, these that's the only option. No, I have. What? It's, like, it's like you can watch all the movies and stuff on the Max. Why don't you download that on my computer? If Should, I bring it the yeah, next time? Yeah. You can download it. Oh, really? Yeah. Is it going to charge me? No. Okay, well, I want to, because I want to see. Uh, and I Judy. will be muting this out of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just stop right there. <laughs> no, so so the Dolomite movie is great because first of all, it's a great story of you know encouraging people to never give up on their dream. I think when you guys see it, we're gonna have a great show afterwards talking about. It. I don't want right. to tell you too much, but did Dolomite Dolomite was recognize amazing. his dream later in life or something? Yeah, I guess he was kind of old. Yeah, way down in the jungle, he was a kind of. See, you guys man. do know that, yeah. and, and and he was not necessarily movie star material or funny. I, I thought if no, one point he was supposed to be a he comedian, got, and he got his jokes from bums and drunkards, winos on the street. I can definitely believe that. And then he he taped Brilliant. them, and then he <laughs> and then it was, and then he polished them up. And he made a whole character. It wasn't even his. Oh, wow. It was, but but it's ingenious the fact that he thought to do it and he would not take no for an answer, even though he was told no repeatedly. Oh wow! Repeatedly. So this is a good story. There was it's nothing a good story. like that. Yeah. There was nothing else like that. It's that. it's and and it was and it what, what's so great about it is the fact that he got told no because people were like, "What are you ta- like? Hell what is no! This? Like this is crazy. This is an art. What is this?" And it, it happened every time when he got the jokes polished up, and then he made a record. People were like, "Nobody's right. gonna pay to listen," and then they did. But and then, people did though. And then he and then the same thing with the movie. I don't want to give, too, but you got to see it. It's well, really I mean, it's and history, Eddie Murphy right? is <laughs> Eddie Murphy. No, but I think there's a lot to the story. That people okay. didn't know. Yeah. Eddie Murphy is absolutely brilliant. Yeah, yeah, he really did a great job. Um, random sidebar, but since you just said Eddie Murphy, and I know Coming to America too is filming here, I am desperately trying to be an extra in Coming to America. Well, you 2. are. We're filming right now for it. I. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Yes. I. Yes. I. Want to be in the? I have to be. I'm turning forty this year. Have you done anything to make this happen? Film. I've done absolutely nothing. Oh, okay. Okay. Ch- this, chances are, this is, this is what you're unlike doing. Dolomite, <laughs> you're not going to have to be told no. This because is my formal announcement. <laughs> I are they filming already? I don't even know. That I, it, is I it signed? They are. Have they signed the deal? This is going to happen? Yeah, it's okay. definitely. I believe it's already underway. Yeah, I heard it's already filming. Okay, but I don't. I don't know. So you're where coming in, in midway, <laughs> right? They may have wrapped already. <laughs> like it may be done. <laughs> that 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 may be. Yeah. But well, I, you, I would, you you may want to get out there and be a little it. bit more proactive. Let me see what universe. Next week, come in costume. 
<laughs> Whatever part you wanted to play. Who do, it what is side? Halloween. What side do you want to play? What do you do? You want to be with Hakeem, or do you want to be with the on the McDowell? Like where? Where are you trying to see yourself? I royalty got to be. Gotta be royalty. I think. I think. Yeah. If we've got a, a preference, it'd probably be royalty. But I don't give a damn. I want just want to be in it. I. You mean to tell me McDowell's wouldn't be hilarious? It would be. It guaranteed. Well, so you not only want to be in the movie, you want an actual part. I, I just want to be on screen. I want to be okay. an extra. Some. I don't care if I'm. I don't care if I'm <laughs> a customer. I am. There I am. I don't right. care if I'm a customer in McDowell's. Right. Right. I. Right. I don't care. Just. Yeah. That's me. Sit me there and take the camera like that's this. That's your moment of pan. history in history. Yeah. Yep. Pan, yeah. pan, get that clip. Yeah, that, that's dope, man. I and think you should pursue it, it, but you could, you got to do more than this. Yeah. I don't think this is going to reach right. him. I do, because if it doesn't happen, I'm going to just edit myself into a bootleg and do, we'll do it <laughs> now, that I way. I do see that happening. I, I see that happening right hey, away. Whatever, I won't take <laughs> no for an answer. Right. Are, are you guys looking forward to Eddie Murphy's stand up? I was going to ask that. I am. I am. And and I think this movie made me even more excited about it because he he has, you know, been kind of away for a while, but I think that the thing I like about Eddie Murphy is that he's a he's he's smart and he's he's able to kind of mesh intellectual comedy with just slapstick fun, you know, funny and and I think he's the best at that. And this film allowed, you know, you get a chance to see him do what he does and 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 I'm I'm excited to see what we kind of were introduced to him for. Yeah, Eddie Murphy was Eddie Murphy was my Kevin Hart. Like I I grew up seeing Eddie Murphy in everything. Okay. And, All right. I see it now. Um, I didn't I didn't know where I I see I, just as far as he's the comedian that was doing everything. Yeah, Who, he was the, come the, with us. The young black comedian. Hey, who's who's doing who's it. Kevin Hart's Kevin Hart? <laughs> Like who? Who in this conversation? Your I mean, kids. Your kids would be. They. Why they, the hell are we talking to my kids? Your kids right ain't now? seen Eddie Murphy. But I, okay, what he's saying is that when we were when we were younger, he was a Kevin Hart of his time. Kevin. Maybe. Right. Well, that's kind of no. Kevin okay, Hart would be the yes. Eddie Murphy of his time. We wouldn't want to disrespect Eddie Murphy by this saying that he was the else. Kevin Hart of his time. Well, I mean, who Kevin Hart is today? That's right. what Eddie Murphy was to him. Right. Okay. Man, I'm surprised you didn't say Dave Chappelle. I think Dave Chappelle's a I think different Dave's comedian. Different. Yeah, I think it's a di- it's a different Dave's thing. Different. I think there's a different intellect level. I yeah. think Eddie Murphy can make somebody who's dumb laugh and yeah, somebody who's smart laugh. Too. That's Dave true. Chappelle, dumb people don't laugh at Dave Chappelle. That's true. I I agree, and I they guess don't even that's like what him. I said about the fact that Eddie Murphy's able to merge those yeah. two together. I have want some ice cream. It's hilarious to everyone: white people, black people, Africans, yeah, um, whoever. Yeah, but. A lot of comedians are saying that they don't think Eddie can pull it off because he's not going out. He's not. He's not working the road. Well, you know what? I'm. I'm eager to see what he does. Um, partly because let me be for real. Because you mentioned Chappelle, I miss Charlie Murphy, man. I never I thought Charlie Murphy was funny at stand up. I didn't either. I did. I thought Charlie. that. I thought that Dave Chappelle did a great job of setting him into a role that was that that made that that basically made him a big star. And it, because Eddie Murphy never did that, you know, Charlie Murphy was never a topic of conversation for anything that Eddie Murphy did. I think Dave Chappelle is just genius at c- creating stuff that you know really connected with that audience, and Charlie Murphy w- benefited from that. I never thought it was Charlie. I don't think that was the genius of Charlie Murphy. Well, Ch- Charlie Murphy's humor was a little was a dark and a little gutter, and really. He yeah, had humor? well, yeah, Eddie he, was he more polished. I saw one of his Eddie was I more polished, and Charlie was the. I Ch- never saw his. his Charlie was a dark, telling you know jailhouse stories and shit like that. Like I just didn't think it was funny. It felt it felt like to me like he was more famous than his jokes. Because Perhaps of his, bro- his last name. No, Perhaps. not just that though. The the Dave Chappelle Period. stuff. His oh, brother. Oh, so he did stand up after, after the Dave. Ch- oh, yeah. yeah. Well, that's yeah. definitely he wasn't a comedian way no. back in the day. Not that I know of. No, he, he was, wasn't. He, a few, was, he was in though, a few he just of wasn't Eddie's well movies. Known. Charlie Murphy was in Harlem Nights. Yeah, he was. No, no, no. I'm talking but about. He wasn't as far a comedian though. Yeah, he was. Yeah, I saw his stand ups after he did Dave Chappelle. Yeah, he was. Yeah, I didn't know he did that after that. So imagine being that famous and having to jump up on stage, and people are coming to there like, "Oh man, we're going to see Charlie Murphy," and his jokes are. He's just trying to work on his jokes. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like, eh, you're not quite there yet. Mm-mm. Most people would have had the five years to get better before they get on the front of a big stage. Whereas Charlie Murphy's on a big stage, yeah, and he hadn't developed as a comedian yet. That so. just speaks to um, again the brilliance of Dave Chappelle because he he created. People didn't even realize that Charlie Murphy wasn't really funny. 
Charlie Murphy just had some f- crazy stories. But he was the he if anybody was a breakout star on the Chappelle show, it was, it Charlie, was Charlie Murphy. Yeah, but it was not because of Charlie Murphy. It was because of the setup, the positioning Possibly. of Dave Chappelle. That's this is interesting though, because mm. Charlie Murphy was with Eddie Charlie Murphy, Eddie Murphy's brother. Eddie Murphy definitely a different type of, you know, talent. What do you guys think about Chris Rock and Tony Rock? Because I think people forget they're actually brothers. There's also Jordan Rock. Yeah, there. Yeah, who is also a comedian. And he's a different kind of comedian. He's yeah. like really different. Um, I think that Tony Rock is funny, but I don't think he's. He's a host f- to me. He's better as a he's host. Good as a host. Than, yeah, than, than, yeah, than, yeah, as I wouldn't actual say stand-up. Tony Rock is is like he's he's funny, but he's not Chris. He's yeah. more Tony Rock is more relatable. He doesn't seem like a superstar, so he's not so standoffish. Yeah, he's like, not, he's yeah. a guy who's going to jump in the audience yeah. and have fun, and people. And he's, and he's a, like he says a good. He's a good liaison for the audience right. to the actual talent. Chris Rock actually was is my favorite comedian, and okay. I think Dave Chappelle is a, a very close number two. But Chris Rock is because I like intellectual humor, and I like Eddie Murphy, but I just I don't, you know, some of the stuff that just goes across the board. I I just didn't really. And Charlie had favorite. a fearlessness to him that was almost George Carlin-ish. Like, he he could say anything about anything in a dark way. And I don't know, it resonated with me. I don't know his me. humor. I don't know I, don't, I couldn't tell you one joke. I, 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 I don't even... Okay. Charlie Murphy. See? You're going to go yeah, back to it. Dave Chappelle. I mean, but Dave Chappelle, Ashley Larry, uh, who's that, Donnell Rawlins? Mm-hmm. Another person. I yeah. mean, Donnell Rawlins was was a, a comedian, though. For a, yeah, he but was. But he really blew up because yeah. of people recognizing him from that show. <laughs> it didn't have the same effect on Wayne Brady, but it was funny. Was Wayne Brady on that show? Yeah. Wayne, no, Brady, he was, Wayne Brady did a guest appearance. Yeah, guest he, did a, he, was already, he was already popular before he went to Dave Chappelle. He was popular, but not with the urban audience. Uh, he's still not popular, with the urban <laughs> but at least he became. Uh, I know, but you realize he that was after, for that summer, though. He was yeah. for that summer, and he actually started a a musical run, trying to be an R and B artist. You guys not know this? Well, he was on the uh, Whose Line Is It Anyway, right? Yeah, yeah. So he, he, and he can sing. He used to he sing all the sing, time on that. But he 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 put out videos. <laughs> he can sing and dance. Where he's, I think he's like Jason Derulo. He's no, cool. he's wow. not like Jason Derulo. Eddie Murphy isn't either, and he tried no, to he sing isn't. too. He tried to sing too. Yeah. You remember that song with him and Michael Jackson? Girl, what's up? <laughs> what's up? <laughs> God. Wow. He wanted to be a singer. He was bad too. Eddie yeah. Murphy was not. A, it's like Michael Jordan playing baseball. Yeah, he was. It was bad, but it's he just I, he didn't lose his cool for it for some reason. He never lost his. Mm. cool. He was still Eddie Murphy. Still Eddie Murphy. You got a little bit more. Mm. Still filthy rich, hanging out with Michael Jackson, and he had Arsenio. Nicole Murphy. He's, yeah. But he's and he had Disney money. But well, okay, what Eddie Murphy has not been able to escape is that ambiguous thing, though. People were I, someone was talking about that today. Like, is his, in his stand up? Is he going to address? Because he really can't address LGBTQ, you know, uh, uh, comedy because of his own. Right, you know, and, he, and that's never been addressed. And I think he, he's his Johnny pers- Gill. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's just like, all bigger than. There's a well, lot. even the women that came, well, the trans women that came out and said that he paid them. Remember, there was like a couple of women that came out. There was a whole story, news story. <laughs> wow. And yeah, and and he said there was pictures of him with the woman in his car. He said that he was giving the woman a ride home. I remember that. Yeah. So I mean, uh so people were like, I wonder, is he going to, you know, because comedians come out with stand-up and you have to talk about current events. Right. How is he going to maneuver that? What current events? Because he hasn't done stand-up since the 80s, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I'm, I'm sure that he has uh, an abundance of help. Like anybody who's, anybody who is anybody who can write a joke is probably trying to help Eddie like with this new. Hmm. I'm but, sure Chappelle is. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Paul Mooney Comedians are still saying yeah. that's not how it works. You still have to go out and work yeah. it. Yeah, you still yeah, gotta I don't know work about it. that. And and you could feel it if it's not that. Like they all have a different a t- way they approach things, right? So I could, first of all, Paul Mooney and Eddie Murphy, that doesn't even seem like a good fit. Why at all? I don't. I don't see because to me it's just very different. Paul Mooney is definitely to me his comedy. Did you is know very Paul Mooney different. wrote for Richard Pryor a lot? Yeah, I think I think that it's, Richard Pryor was like. Yeah, Richard Paul Mooney Br- wrote a lot of the, the Wayne stuff too. That what, I think get you sucker. I think as a writer, like as a writer, he has a different uh, perspective than when, as a yeah. So it's not all about his own white people, such and such, such and such, my niggas, and he, yeah. it's not all that. Like yeah. he writes differently than he he yeah. performs. Okay, 
All right. I see. I I do have him typecast in what he does for mm-hmm. himself. The Wayans brought like I I thought probably a couple things that Damon Wayans did were funny. Damon Wayans is hilarious. Yeah, but he he and he's different than Keenan because Keenan Keenan wasn't really a stand up. Right. But he but it's he's comedic. But it's like in. I don't know. It's situational comedy, like right. with the fun. Like I'm gonna get you suck. It's got stupid stuff Silliness. in it. It's not. And yeah, that's silly. How, it's silly. Orange juice in the hood. That's the same. It's silly. It like Marlon Wayans to me like is scary not movie. funny. They're scary movie. They're all the yeah. same. It's silliness. But white girls. I don't. Th- I see it's silly to me. It's not funny to me. White girls was hilarious. I didn't think it was funny at all. You got to be kidding. Me. I did not like it. I thought white girls. She was, you were offended. I just didn't like it. It's not my type of humor. And I like it's Marlon. I used to think Marlon Wayans was super cute, but I just you know nah. That's the only one that I thought was hilarious, though. The rest of them, like especially that new one that's on um, Netflix, uh, yeah. starts with the S. Um, oh, and the Marlin sex tuplets, sex tuplets or something. Yeah, awful. Yeah, I think that's a horrible movie. But yeah. I've I've talked to a lot of people that loved it. Yeah, well, everybody has different tastes in comedy. But even Marlon Wayans stand up, I I just didn't. Yeah, it wasn't that great. It wasn't that great. Mm-mm. Mm. That's gonna be a no for me. Yeah. So he, what he was wasn't he in in um. In the race to play Richard Pryor before Mike Epps got it? I don't know. I think I, I heard that he wanted it really bad. I thought it was somebody Marlon, else. Also. I think I did hear that. Marlon Wayans. It was some, it's really somebody bad. else besides Marlon Wayans, but this, Who would have done it better? Mike Epps or Marlon Wayans? You definitely think? Mike Epps. You think so too, Kevin? No, Mr. I think, Kevin? I think Marlon could have done it. I think, really? Mar- I think yeah, Marlon yeah. would have did it better, honestly. Really? Then, My, then, then Richard Pryor? I, I mean, I, at the, at Richard Pryor? Yeah, I think Mike Epps is going to surprise everybody, though. I think he's going to do a phenomenal job. I think he's going to be amazing. But I think Marlon Wayans. Has a something dark in him too, because mm, really? remember he played the crack addict or something in that movie. What was it? What was that movie that he was like a um, requiem dream, uh, requi- requiem for a dream or something like that? Mm. Well, you I know, because he has he hasn't had many serious roles, and I think that's part of the reason that he wanted it. Because most of yeah. Marlon Williams is silly, uh, I, and I think he's a, a better actor. Yeah, I think he's is, a better actor with serious roles. Like to me, when he played in GI Joe and something like when he could play, he was in that. Well, yeah, he was. <laughs> But when he can play, look, you like. First of all, who the fuck saw G.I. Joe? Joe. Okay, I did. (laughs) With who? I saw it. With who? Did you get popcorn? A friend. And Riznets? It was not a guy. Some dick? It was not a guy. White girls. That's why she didn't like white girls. That's why she didn't like white girls. No, but. um, The one with Becky. Yeah. I. he he's a better serious actor to me than he I think is. he has more range than Mike Epps, and that's why I would have liked to have seen him play it. But I think Mike Epps is going to surprise everybody. I think Mike Epps is actually really a lot doper than we think. When it because I every time he's every time he's been in a role. Now he he may kind of play the same character. He does day day. He's day day yeah. grown day day. Gr- right, that's, a his, that's his two characters. <laughs> that's true. He's an old, pimp. but he's good. Yeah. yeah. Do, 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 do. <laughs> right. <laughs> that last stand up was good though. Yeah, he. I, like I love it. Stand-up. I love his his recent stand up. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why I think he's gonna surprise. I, I'm I'm pleasantly waiting on him to surprise me. But and he even though he plays the drunk uncle, he does play an angry. I mean, he plays like a, the male volant character. He played that in what dream was it? Um. Oh my God! I don't think it was Dream. It might have been Cadillac Records. No, um, yeah, no, it was Dream Girls. Dream Girls. Yeah, and then it had he also to played in the one with uh, Whitney Houston, the last movie that she played. Um, oh my, Whitney Sparkle, Houston. Sparkle, Sparkle. I didn't see that. I saw Spar- Sparkle. He did. Sparkle. Okay, saw okay, Sparkle? I did. Okay, I love Whitney. Okay, hey, I calm, love Whitney. Calm down. <laughs> and Jordan touch- Sparks is a great talent. Is she okay? She mm. is. I like Jordan Sparks. Yeah, I like her. But right. most, most importantly, I love Whitney. I got you. Don't say anything about crack. I mean, point is, Mike Epps played a. He did play a. <laughs> he did play a, a, a. He played a drug addict, but he. It was a serious character. He did a great job. I'm waiting to surprise me. Yeah, I think this is a role that people. I really hope they get right. And there's a yeah. lot of layers to it. Yeah, it is. He sucked a dick. He did more he than was one. Bisexual. Yeah. yeah, I think a lot of. Actually, Dolomite sucked the dick. Was gay. What? Bombshell. Yo, for real? Yeah. Wow. Run that back. What, what are your receipts? Run that back. <laughs> just, I mean, wow. Well, just, just go back. He just ruined the movie, right? Did, no. Nobody well, knew movie, that. No, in the movie, he doesn't. He doesn't. They don't have him interacting with men, but he's definitely not interacting with women. So and you're saying he's an incel? <laughs> he could be an incel. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. No, but I think he. I don't think he wanted women because he obviously could have had women. Because he was, you know, there were successful. women in the movies though. Well, he wasn't touching them, and then he didn't want to have a sex scene. He didn't want to do like a real sex scene, so he wanted it to be funny. So if wow. you notice, he must have got touched. Uh, 
There, and there we and there we have it. We are looking to be able to uh, offend, and I think we have. No, get, get in touch is the the common reason to to uh, like penis. And there we go. How do you know gay people want to be associated with Dolo- Dola White? <laughs> Dola White. <laughs> Dola White. Yeah. Well, I don't. I don't think they have a choice. So wait a minute. We're we're, we're going to sit here and pretend like people that get touched don't become gay later in life. First of all, this is what I think. That's not a stat. I, I, I have. I'm telling you. At least I have at le- at this point eight African American men around my age within the same five year age bracket have have acknowledged to me that they were touched by uh, when they were younger. Right. By men. By well. Six of them by men, two of them by women. Okay. Now, who is doing all the touching? No idea. I hope it's the same nigga. It's not. So I'm saying there are a lot of people. I, I feel like that we've been going through life not realizing that the uncle that was touching the, the, the boy that, that he did not tell anybody about right. some, was, some was bisexual at very at the very least. Bisexual. <sighs> no, I would I wouldn't even start with bisexual. Okay. No. Perverted. Yeah, I would talk about the pedophile part well, of it pe- first. Maybe maybe but, maybe but I'm just, just saying, but, but but even to be a pedophile and to touch a young boy, you obviously are bisexual. You, you're in your in your sexual attraction are bisexual at bare at bare minimum, right? I guess you have to be. I guess, and I'm thinking, and that's just amazing to me. I'm not going to normalize that. I'm yeah, not, no, no, I'm not normalizing it. But I'm just saying that a lot of people in um have not come out as having. You know, probably we're homophobic, and yet we're you yeah. know trying to or, or touching, uh, sexually abusing a little boy, and then we'll have a homophobic exterior. It's 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 a lot in our history that people are not. I think a lot of it's coming out, and I think that's why there's such a huge cry that there's a lot of hip- hypocrisy because there had to be a lot more people dealing with sexual identity than we knew about. Well, yeah, I th- everybody's dealing with sexual identity. Um, I, I think I it's you. You didn't have to figure out like where, what you like, where you're, where you're comfortable. Well, guys, I knew are, I was straight the whole. Guys time. are forced to constantly do with that. Yeah. Okay. You, you guys force us to do that. We're always having to posture. Always. We force you to. Yeah, do absolutely, okay. absolutely. You, you guys force us to posture all the time, and How then you get force- mad at us for being toxic. Toxic masculinity or whatever. You you all come to the table with toxic masculinity. No, we don't. No, we don't. Mm. Do you really think we would give a damn if women didn't didn't care? Well, what am I supposed to do because I like a man? What? Just because we like men doesn't mean that we're forcing you to do something. Uh, I'm not uh, jumping in that rabbit hole with you. <laughs> <laughs> then what? No, I, I'm just saying, I'll, like, I'll I teeter on the rim. Go ahead. Because if, <laughs> do the rim job. If, if a woman, <laughs> if a woman likes a man, she is definitely manipulating him to Absolutely. do whatever she. Absolutely, desires. that's your talent. That's what you guys do. Mm-hmm. Don't that's pick up your phone. Do. Don't that, separate the yourself from the the audience by putting your phone in. That's that's a that's she's a body to hide language. Her face on that's camera. body language. She's trying to shrink her body down smaller. I do not. That's like body language. One oh one. But but there are so many things that men do as well that force women. I mean, that's just it's just a. It's, let's just agree uh-uh. that both sides. No, ma'am. <laughs> no, no. We're, we're the we're the we are the the. Oh my! Most God. of the ills in the world are due to a guy doing something to impress a woman. I don't. I'm, well, do you remember the first thing you did to impress a woman? <laughs> what was that? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the first thing even was. as a as a kid. Well, you I'm trying to think. You didn't ride by girls and like on your bike and started pedal fast. Sure, of course I did that. How is I, that the girl's fault? Sounds I, like you just because I when you stole did, some of my mom's perfume and gave it to a girl on the bus. Oh, you're shitty. You're a shitty son. I was poor. <laughs> I, I, Nobody I, had money though. What do you mean? Yeah, that's I, not I fair. Had, we're that, not gonna. We're not, not gonna, gonna get all for money. I would say I have this many. I, well, that's have, on you. That's your money. grammar. Yeah. That's not. That doesn't mean that you're poor. That just means you had very. No, we your were, grammar we were poor. Was poor. Well, that no, that's <laughs> we you poor. choosing to say that. That's not just. <laughs> She's gonna try to get out of this no matter what. So I'm just saying that's watch not. Watch her. We're not gonna we're keep not your hands above that. the table, please. <laughs> we're not gonna accept <laughs> that as a I didn't reason. know. Matter of fact, as a man, I didn't realize that I needed money until I liked women. Once I liked a girl, it's because you gotta you gotta be able to afford popcorn. Raisinets and a cherry coke and your own popcorn because this woman don't even fucking like butter. Man, even in high school, matter of fact, hold on. Can we half butter? Can we do butter on this side and that side? Not I butter? asked, dude. Man, I, I didn't have. I had a bus pass. Girls didn't want to date me. Yeah, they wanted a the guy with a car. Right. Well, I don't know, man. I don't. I don't know, man. I think 
everybody didn't have I couldn't a, afford McDonald's for her every week. Nobody had a car to me, so I wasn't we all rode the bus. We all walked. A lot walked. of kids in my car. A lot of kids in my school did have cars. A lot of boys had a cars. Girl, a girl yeah. stood me up. She wouldn't come with me to the dance. She's, I remember that so call. like you're still kind of hurt right. about I, these I, things. I what are, remember what are we that doing? phone call. Can we ask the love questions you had? This, this nigga here about to... <laughs> it sounds like you still got a lot of things in your, that you need to work through. Uh, yeah, which brings this me... This is actually, my therapy. I hate the, the even ask this question. I almost wish I could just... You forgot that I had love questions because... Jeez, I don't even want to put these on the table now. But... I I saw a Ute, a IG TV question where this woman said that she's been married successfully and she said the thing that women need to understand that men's two greatest fears are number one, being controlled by a woman. They desperately do not want to be controlled by a woman. They're afraid of being controlled by a woman. And then number two, that they would be inadequate. And she said, what women should do is work towards work towards making their man feel comfortable in the fact that neither one of those are going to come true. So if he knows that he will never have to worry about feeling like she's controlling him, and then number two, that he will always be adequate, that it will, they will have a happy marriage. Is this true? A hundred percent agree. I figured. hundred percent agree. disagree. I don't. I but- love it. Let's go. But but <laughs> I don't think most men would be able to be controlled by a woman. Well, nope. Let me take that back because there's a lot of dudes that just. Why are men so afraid of that? Not afraid. Right. It's not afraid. No, no. But I just said the question. Two greatest fears. Right. Number you one. You said fears, but I but I didn't I didn't take it as fears because that's. Well, silly. I meant it as fear. I think that there are any man who's worth his weight in man manness. Mm-hmm. How do we how do we dictate that? <laughs> <laughs> it's a different you kind of scale. Passed your man training. It's a scale. You got your man How do I know if he's worth his weight in manness? Can you control him? <laughs> and in order for him to be in control, does it does it hurt? Well, sometimes you can control a man if he likes you a lot, and Mm-mm. you, and you then, can't control no. him. women. Women want to be able to influence. If they can yeah. honestly control you, they don't want you. No, they don't. What That's, is that? What is that, What is move. this fear of a woman's control? What do you think is going to happen? You don't know what the I hell no y'all fear. are doing. Oh, I have no fear. You I, should be following. You I, I, yeah, was, I I think so. I was the firstborn child to a single mother. I, that's I was definitely controlled by a woman for you didn't a enjoy great that. number of years. You I, didn't enjoy that. Did you start to resent that? I, well, no, it was called childhood. Okay, so that's normal. Count. Everybody goes count. through. Everybody, even with two parents it's, in the family, it, it you're is the natural by your order. Mom. So, is... so I'm saying, what, what is? Why are men afraid? Because that was I, the question. Okay, so here's the question. I mean, here's here's what I'm answering. Okay, I'm okay. not answering that fear shit. I'm answering the second <laughs> half of that. As long as you make your, you have, you allow your man to be in control and not ever feel like you're trying to control him, mm-hmm. and you make him feel adequate, you win. Okay, I agree with said. that a thousand. No, I'm not gonna say it. it's not even a real thing. A hundred percent. I agree with that a hundred percent. Okay. As long as you allow him to be in control and never feel like you're trying to control him. Okay. And you make him feel adequate. Always gonna be. You gonna have that man. Okay. I'm, I don't know about the fear thing. The biggest fears. I don't. I don't know if that's yeah. what it is. That, that's a weird. And maybe that's my my mask. I'm posturing again. I think it could be. Well, well, I, could I think be. I do think some of those questions uh, are. It it is jarring because. The divide. There is a power. There, there is a power struggle between men and women, and I think that's part of what keeps us separate. Like what keeps us from working together, um, because like even there's been a, a lot of um, conversation lately about women submitting and whether or not she she should submit or want to submit partly because of, of Fantasia's comments, and I think there was even something on uh, Red Red Table Talk where they were talking mm-hmm. about it. Um. But yeah, we 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 shrink away from each other because we're trying to be the one in control when we're both in control, we're both able, but I think men and women need to use each other uh according to their strengths and just saying, "Hey, you're better at this and you're better at that." Yeah, I, I I, mean, I agree with that. I guess I'm just trying to figure out, because I've had a guy tell me, you're trying to control me. And I was like, what are, what are you saying? What does that mean? I can see Same that. Same thing. I've had women say that as well. That you were like, trying to control are them? Are you serious? I, I, just put, I just put carrots in the tuna fish. I, I didn't. Yeah. I, didn't. I think I, th- I think when people, I'm what trying to think, if I, have, I ever, have I ever felt like a guy was trying do you, to control? Do you put carrots in your tuna fish? 
Uh, is that, I, I have had it. Is that, that very way. similar to raisins in a potato salad? I don't eat potato no. salad, so I don't know about that. Um, but I do think that people, I think when a person is afraid of that, they are not in control. Right? Afraid of what? Being if a person is afraid is is afraid of women trying to control them, or a woman is afraid of a man trying to control them. I'm not saying it doesn't happen because definitely it definitely does. There are abusive situations on both sides. But I think a lot of times people, it seems like men that are controlled by women and women that are controlled by men seem to keep, they are the common denominator in those relationships. So it's like, I know some guys that have been controlled by women and it doesn't matter what woman they date. They always are in that more submissive role. And I do know a lot of women who have been in controlling relationships and they always find a controlling situation. So I think there's something about those personalities that Draws that to them Because mm. I, I just I mean think about it You know a guy That's been whipped By his woman And he, he can always find He may break up With that woman And get with another one But and it's going to be The same <laughs> Yeah it's going to be The it same the dynamic pussy, It's you it's you're, you you're the pussy <laughs> Yeah it's not that And I know I know women That are always They're always With a controlling guy And it's like Whatever your Whatever pheromones You're putting out Are drawing guys That are domineering To you I think Because <laughs> It just I but mean I, I don't know that our nation of, of strong black women is are are being uh so sub, like they're rejecting that actually. And I and I think uh, I mean in a lot of cases they, they almost they don't wanna be so strong, at least from what women have told I don't. I, w- I would rather have a a man that is um more of the the dominant partner. You gotta say controlling. I was I'm not gonna man, say controlling. Man. I would rather be with a man's man, but I do encounter men that are... I've encountered men that are attracted to me because they think that I'm strong and domineering. And they want to be... with. They, they want to be whipped. They want to kind of... Yeah. Yeah. I, honestly, my ideal situation would be for my wife to be in control of everything. And when shit gets out of control, I'm waiting in the shadows. Yeah. That's kind of like the lion and the lion. That's like, what I would love. Yeah. My, I think my wife prefers me to be... Dominant though, yeah. But I would really, if, if it were, if I had an ideal situation, right. she would step up and like and handle shit and like, oh, she's in charge, whatever. And then you're over there sunning yourself and be like, oh, did you need some help? And then some shit goes, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shit gets a little yeah. tough. Well, see, that's yeah. just it. Because or tight, the, and a, a pop pop, he pops up around that corner. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, that's just it. Be, depending on what's going on in your relationship, the power is going is going to shift. There's going to be waves, right? right? And yeah. when she's leading, you get behind her. You got to be in but the that's, mic. But that's a, health, that's <laughs> a healthy you. relationship. That's not every relationship. But let me tell you what's That's a that healthy idea? relationship. That, it, what that, is. For is, that is, absolutely. Let me tell you what, though, women. <laughs> let me let me school you ladies. Um, my wife works for a bank. Okay. And um, time and time mm-hmm. and time and time and time again, old women come in there mm-hmm. And their husband just passed. Yeah. And they have no idea how to do anything. Yeah. So I don't give a damn who's in control in your house. Yeah. Learn how to do some shit. That's true. That's real. That's real. I, I learn now. I second that because I I know when I first went through my divorce, I, there was a lot I did not know. And imagine being seventy five and not knowing how to do anything. That would be that would be horrif- horrifying. People are gonna it take was advantage of you. Thirty two. People yeah. are gonna take advantage of you. They're gonna yeah. they're gonna screw you over. Yeah. And you're also just gonna be like very scared and frightened. Yeah. And that's what happens when you let a man take all the charge. That's true. Learn to do some things. Learn so, to do some. Yeah, and I think that would make you feel more confident just as a woman if you are able to take care. You don't maybe that that's the the dynamic of the house is that you don't have to, but you should know how to. I yeah. think I learned that the hard way because I did. There is a level of comfort in a man that is very that sure. does take charge. Sure, but. I think that it's it's really healthy. I'll teach my daughter. You need to know how to do everything for yourself, so that you don't. You're never making decisions based on the fact that you don't know how to do it, or you right. don't. You don't have the ability to take care of yourself. That's how you know you're making the best decision for you. You know. So, Kevin, you first said you disagree, but now you're saying you do agree. Then that those two things. Those two things. Well, well, yeah. I think I I probably got wrapped around the wheel the on, fear on the thing. fear. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't, yeah, like fear ain't I'm scared. We don't. Well, but I hear a lot of men saying they they don't like controlling women. I hear that. That's a big. That's and a women big. say the same thing though. They don't like controlling women. Well, 
I hate. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> but all women are controlling yeah. other women. That's What's up with that there? toxic femininity, Max? Women are controlling other women. Are you kidding? I've seen. I've seen. What, tell me about beat this. Beat women, at, women bully each other. They anyway. fuck each other up, and there's no po- police. Don't well, come I mentioned save you. that. I mentioned that on with Evan Lozada and the basketball wives, and you guys said that it wasn't that she was not bullying. She was just pretty. Uh, no, I'm talking about somebody fucking somebody up, and oh, the, the police. Them the up? police don't come save don't you because that. it's two women. Yeah, I don't know about that. Like men, come, are, men are waiting for. A titty to pop out That's why Yes That's <laughs> yeah. yeah Girl fight is all about the titty Well one time It went too far I saw a girl Do you remember back in the 90s This was in the 90s I was in high school And um, there was this girl Who had like that um, Those braids But their braids are long But then yes. around the head part They wrap around You know what I'm talking about no, They're very tight It's like a helmet I Do y'all remember that? I don't it's, know. It's a, a braided updo. I was just waiting on a titty to come out I did not expect Homer Simpson's head to come out She pulled that bitch's All her hair Everything it was like little scragglies. Oh no! It was little scragglies and a couple of her her edges gone. Edges were gone. <laughs> oh it was my a, god! It was a couple of back edges. What do you call those in the back? The whole style. The kitchen. She had a couple of back edges that were still there. <laughs> took your whole style. <laughs> but all son. this was Homer Simpson. It was really bad. I didn't get to see a titty. And it was she a, probably had years it. of. It was of, there's of, a, a little. It was, you know what was so sad about it? It wasn't even bleeding. It was that little bitty blood spots? Oh where my it ripped, god! Ripped it. What type of where did you see this? What type high of school. violent high school. foolishness was this? She snatched that shit off. That's why I'm so glad I went to a to high school where children did not behave in such ways. I would not have known what to do if someone <laughs> where attempted children to. children didn't behave in such ways. I'm just saying, like, what type of high school was Savages, that? right? Yeah. Right. Those black savages. Those I, eek. I hear you. Did, did you go to school <laughs> I in I went to school city? with the black right. intellectuals. He must have went in. I went, went to a regular school, so, yeah. yeah. No. You know. At, at Crystal's high school, they were raising money to, to <laughs> save the... First if, of if you all, have a like booster club, dance, if you, know. you have a booster club, yeah, you're yeah. at that kind of school. We My had school a had no booster club, club of course. Razors. Right, of course we you did. We were, yes. Did what are the chili? What was the cheerleaders go to? Cheer. That's how you know. They did a talent show to save the rec center. <laughs> That's a good times <laughs> episode, silly. No, what was we, your cheerleading team's favorite cheer? What is your? What was the go to cheer? I mean, there were there were lots of them. There were lots of them, but I do remember. Be aggressive. No, be that's everybody. B E S D R E S S I V E B. No, no, no. But um, there were ours was your mama, your daddy, your sleeves of grease, grab my ass. No, that we roof, did not that do that. That's that motherfucking not... long dick sucking that hoe. <laughs> that bitch. That's not a cheer. That's not a cheer. It was not. I remember that. I heard that, that was that not one. taught by yeah, the, yeah. The, the CDA. <laughs> yeah. Or the NCA National Cheer Association did not sanction that cheer. Yeah. Well, learn, learn that. Learn. Learn. National no. Cheer Association. That's where you went to what? camp. The hammer of girls was lucky to, to be on the bus. <laughs> you went to what? camp at the National Cheer Association. <laughs> the church donated shoes to the mm-hmm. cheerleaders. No, that's not. That's not I know special. your favorite movie used to be Bring It On. It did. I know it was. You see all of them. I'm, I mm-hmm. am a supporter, and I have a. I'm actually working on a business to support cheerleaders. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, what? I'm, so cheerleaders don't need support? Yes, they do. First of all, that's, what, a, that's this? It's a it's a it's a real <laughs> sport. It's a very it's a real sport, and people don't uh, people do not respect it as such. What about men cheerleaders? You like that? That's cool. It's not my favorite thing. Yeah, I'm not gonna say this. I mean, I'm only saying this here because I want them to also support our business. <laughs> Damn it! It's too late to, now. To take that I'm out. not editing <laughs> that. Yeah, <laughs> knew it. Just because I so enjoyed. That was just, you know. What if they're like 6'4", muscular, NFL player-looking men cheerleaders? Nah, I don't care. if you, you, The moment you do this. <laughs> I don't know if the guys do the that. The moment you've they done do. that. Oh, they do it like that, do the They do. With that they face? Do. Uh, oh, you I think have so. I think that's face? the face, wow. and then a jazz hand. Ooh, uh, <laughs> I think they do. Mohouse. Yeah, I think they do. Oh, the well, moment uh, you do uh, spirit fingers, all pussy. Spirit is fingers. Just... Yes, Kevin. Spirit fingers. Wow, <laughs> that's Mr. Kevin to you. <laughs> Get it right. Get it right. Yes, woman. yes, yes. But okay, so so uh, so uh, that's pretty good. Good good IGTV. So men, women, if you're out there and you're listening. Make these people feel like you're not trying to control them. Uh, you're you're always trying. You know what? And matter then of fact, also let them know that they are enough. Mm. If they're not, don't let them know. And if you are trying to control them, make them think it's their idea. So see, this is where it all goes wrong. This is where this is where everything goes. That's awry. really what you were telling women to continue to operate in the shadows. <laughs> this is where it goes awry. This is the problem. But I think mm-hmm. that men like that. Mm, men what? Men like it when it's their idea. 
that's what the old women in church told me a long time ago when I was married. They said, just don't fuss, don't argue, don't nag. Just I like it when the head up. is your idea. And then just That's let him, what I like. What? I, I like it when, I, like if I'm thinking, man, how am I going to get her to give me some head? And then you just go ahead and do it. Winning women, what? do that and then do what you want afterwards because at that point we don't they're care. so exactly yeah who gives a shit what that's you do a, later that's a win win see how we all won mm-hmm. yeah sure. that's a win win if, if that's if that's what it takes to let you feel like you won <laughs> without every, me not, it's everybody you just doing something without me having to ask right are you asking for it do people in relationships ask for it well, I don't think not so. necessarily ask it, yeah. it ain't it ain't a Hey, uh... <laughs> Excuse me, Ed. Uh, <laughs> uh, I you was know, wondering, uh, why you down? That ain't gonna get... Yeah, ain't yeah. gonna get you no I don't head. think you ask. I think it's just... Uh, you may be hoping and wishing and praying. Wow. But I don't think you ask. For head. What do you think, I'm just guys? Think, I'm thinking think? strongly and trying to get you... <laughs> <laughs> Not thinking and using my mind powers to try to be like... <laughs> <laughs> you know how you try to move... We can't hear you. <laughs> so far yeah. from the mic, you and the but mic. You gotta lean right. back because you can't. I can't be on the mic and do it at the same time. So maybe, that joke, lean back. maybe that joke doesn't work on this platform. <laughs> I, think, I think so. Perhaps. Say that for your stand up. So. Say that for coming to America. Yes. Yeah. Oh my! God. You're really into getting, these snaps today. Just, I don't know what happened. I think it's the hat. It's the. It's the. It's the riding hat. It's, it's it's you know hat. what? It's I, the, is it, is I, a I turned forty this year, so I am realizing that I'm. I'm I'm older than... And you have on a cardigan. Time has snuck up on me. You do have on a librarian You do. It's a Mr. Uniform. Rogers cardigan. <laughs> you have on a librarian uniform, but you got a superhero shirt underneath just in case <laughs> niggas try you. Hey. Well, he is 6'7". So, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know. Yeah. Huh? You kinda, but maybe you can wear a librarian's cardigan. I may not be seven. where I used to be. <laughs> <laughs> but I ain't no bitch. <laughs> Oh. oh, that's a comforting thought. Yeah. You're, you are, you are, Mr. Kevin. You, know. you are, you know. That's and, magic. That's yeah. black girl magic. It is. You see you the way he changed enough. his life. I did. Just for you to say it. Yes, you're enough. Just as you are. Just as you are. Oh, you let it out. <laughs> wow. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> like, share, and subscribe. Love life.